What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Omex and the African presence in Mesoamerica, right? Now, this is kind of a, 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 a annoying topic, I would say, and I don't mean it as in, like, it's not important or anything. I mean it as in, you got white people saying it's not us, you got Asians saying it's them, like the natives, and you got black people in America saying it's their civilization, but it's not African people. It's so much confusion, right? But I'm here to show you my notes, my research, and back up my evidence that when I stated that this was an African civilization, the people, the Olmecs came from Africa, right? So join me. Again, shout out to all the master teachers on this topic, right? When it came to the Olmecs, I was listening to the Kaba Kamenei's Kamakameen, the Dr. Renoko Rashidis, the Ivan Van Sertimas, the et cetera, right? So shout out to all of them, right? I might not be making content for a little while because I got things to do, right? So that's why I'm trying to like give y'all a whole bunch of content for the time being. So when I'm not posting, you know, so let's get into it. Here we go. According to researchers like Dr. Van Sertima, like I said, Ivan Van Sertima was the name I said, but he also goes by, went by Dr. Van Sertima, rest in peace to him. The Omex were black Africans who came from West Africa and founded civilization in ancient Mesoamerica, right? So Dr. Van Sertima says the Omex were black Africans who came from West Africa, all right? Black African Olmec civilization was a pre-Columbian kingdom in the Americas, with a kingdom extending as far as Mexico, portions of the United States, and Canada. And it existed before the Maya, the Toltec, and the Aztec, and there's a whole bunch of civilizations that came out of this. It says Maya, Toltec, and Aztec, but also the Zapotecs and all of them, so yeah. It's been speculated that this Mesoamerican civilization was built by a race of black Africans known as the Omex. Of all the lost civilizations of Mesoamerica, that of the Omec is the oldest and the most mystifying we know. Very little about the Omec, a mysterious culture considered by many as the mother civilization of Mesoamerica that laid the foundation for the Mesoamerican culture traditions. So, this is what I want y'all to understand. Now, wait, wait, hold on a second. Where did it say it? It been the oldest and most... Now, I heard from Dr. Renoko Rashidi that the Olmec civilization isn't the first civilization in the Americas. There was African civilizations before that. So, I wouldn't say it's the first civilization, but it's considered the mother of civilization in Mesoamerica. So, I made a video on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Y'all could go check it out. It's called Africa, Home of the Gods and Goddesses, right? And basically, I was talking about within every culture, you're going to see some type of African culture, right? So I want y'all to pay attention to this. Right? Uh, Where was it? Okay. A mysterious culture considered by many as the mother civilization of Mesoamerica that laid the foundation for the Mesoamerican cultural traditions. So... All the cultures that came after the Omex took the traditions, right? They took the traditions, some of the traditions. They kept some of the traditions, right? Why is this important? Because Africans brought that culture over to Mesoamerica. The Africans were the ones who brought this culture over and everyone else took off of them. So understand that it's deep. The thing I like to do when I'm doing research is it says Mesoamerica, right? So watch, I'm going to switch the camera back. It says, it says Mesoamerica, right? Mother, civiliz mother civilization of Mesoamerica that laid the foundation for the Mesoamerican traditions, cultural traditions, right? So I like to search up Mesoamerica, right? And now you get even more knowledge. So for the people who don't know what Mesoamerica is, right? You see Mexico through Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, um, northern Costa Rica, right? And so now you see what we're talking about when we talk about Mesoamerica, right? 
And it also, in my opinion, expanded because I noticed something like every time I go to the Caribbeans and you go to the part where our people are, the, the black people are, the culture is similar. So this is what I mean, for example, I said it expanded into northern Costa Rica, right? But I will make the argument that it also expanded even more because, like I said, when we talk about um, the culture in the Caribbeans, when we go to the areas where the black people are, the culture is similar. So, for example, the, the black people in Costa Rica are similar, like their culture is similar to the black people in El Salvador. And the people in El Salvador, their culture is similar to the people in the Honduras, the black people in the Honduras. So it said northern Costa Rica, right? That's where it expanded to. But I'm arguing that it expanded even more down to Panama, the Colombia areas, the Ecuador areas. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of these places that are divided now used to be one country at some point in time. A lot of these places, I don't know all of them by heart, but a lot of these countries used to be one. So it's no coincidence, right? Let's check out the co damn my phone's about to die. Let's check out the culture in Costa Rica, the black people in Costa Rica, right? So I just want y'all to check it out. See this? This looks like where it came from, right out of Africa, right? Because that's where we all came from. You could trace the black people everywhere, anywhere in the world, back to Africa, their origins. Check it out, right? See what I'm saying? Now let's now let's switch over to Panama, right? The black people in Panama, right? Let me switch over to that real quick. I want y'all to see that there's a resemblance. It's just very similar. See what I'm saying? It's just very similar. So this is why I'm saying I'll make the argument that it even expanded further than what they're telling us. See what I'm saying? So, so this is my point. Now let's look at the culture from the black people in Venezuela. See what I'm saying? It's just so similar. It's just so similar. Like, they're just all so similar. Right? So that's why I'm making the argument that I even expanded. Now, the point I'm trying to make is they're saying the Omec, the Omec civilization, right? Laid the foundation of for the Mesoamerica, Mesoamerican cultural traditions. And they say Mesoamerica stops at Costa Rica. But I'm saying I believe the influence of the Omex, like the influence of the Omex expanded further than nor northern Costa Rica. So keep that in mind. Early research of Dr. Ivan Van Sertema as set out in his book, They Came Before Columbus. If you didn't read that book, make sure you get it. You know what? I'm just going to show you all everything. Like, it's time to wake up. How the cover looks, they came before Columbus, the African presence in Asian America. Ivan Van Sert, am I right? You just buy it off Amazon. You feel me? Amazon. So that, that this is what we're talking about right here. Early research of Dr. Ivan Van Sert, am I, I set out in his book, They Came Before Columbus. The Omex may have been black African Nubians that settled in Mesoamerica. So when we're talking about Nubians, who, what are we talking about? Where are we talking about again? Where, where are we talking about? We're talk, well, Once again, we're talking about ancient Nile Valley. These people came from the ancient Nile Valley. Nubians that settled in Mesoamerica. When we're talking about Nubia, when we're talking about Nubia, we're talking Africa. Kush, Nubian Desert. Kush. When are we talking about Kush, where are we talking about? We're talking about Sudan. See, you got Egypt right here. See what I'm saying? So keep this in mind, right? Let's now let's just put Nubians, right? Nubians. This is who we're talking about. When we're talking about Nubians, they have a connection to the Omex. They're still around today. Oh yeah, they're still around today, guys. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? They're still around, guys. All right? So, understand this. Understand. Overstand. All right, moving on. Many of the remaining stone heads suggest that the Olmec were black Nubians from Africa sailing from the Nile Valley to the Americas to create the Olmec black civilization in Mesoamerica. Dr. Ivan Van Sertema 
argues that there is also the possibility that the Olmecs were black Africans from the Medinka region ooh, of West Africa because of the Mende script that has been unearthed from the period of the Olmec presence in ancient Mesoamerica. One of the most important connections made to show that the Olmecs were black Africans is the very strong similarities in racial facial features between the Olmecs, West Africans, and ancient Nubians. When we're talking about the Mandenka region, right? We're talking about Guinea and Guinea-Bissau and Ivory Coast and Mali and Senegal and the Gambia, Gambia, right? So this is the map. I want to show you the actual map, right? And of course, I also believe we expand it into other parts, right? I want you to see the map. This is the Mandenka region, right? want you to keep in mind too guys this is west africa so there's there could be traces from west africa that has similarities with the omex not only we're not only talking about kush we're talking about west africa as well see what i'm saying dan is in what north africa right but you could also find traces of people from west africa put the two together guys put put it together you see what i'm saying it's deep now watch this, watch this now. Watch this. Watch this. So check it out. Check it out. See what I'm saying? I got the search. I got the search. I ain't making nothing up. Hold on. I put this up. Hold on. Switch. All right, you see what I'm saying? Check it out, guys. So these people have a connection with the Olmec. See what I'm saying, guys? See what I'm saying? It's real, guys. It's real, guys. It's real. All right? The Mandenka people. Show y'all the name. I'm not, I'm not making this up. These are the Olmec head guys. These are the Olmec head guys. As you can see, clear African facial features. Clearly obvious, right? We're going to move on and it's going to get even more obvious, right? They could deny this all they want. Look at this, guys. Look at this. You see what I'm saying? Look at this. Look at this one right here. Hold on. What the hell? All right. Look at this. Check it out. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Case closed. Let's check this out. Yup. Braids. Hmm. Braids. Because braids is an African hairstyle, right? I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Before I get to the braids, I want to show y'all this real quick. All right. Now, hold on a second, guys. I got something to type up. Because you can see depictions of braids all the way back to Asian Kemet depicted on walls and stuff. See what I'm saying? D depicted in stone. This is, last time I checked, when, we, when we're talking about braids, that's an African hairstyle, right? That's an African hairstyle last time I checked, right? Right? That, this is African hairstyles. How did African hairstyles get to... Mesoamerica, but there was no Africans there. How is that possible? You see what I'm saying? This is this is black people's hair styles, right? This is our hairstyles. You see what I'm saying, guys? Yeah, I get the point. So why do the Olmec? Why does one of the Olmec heads have, or a few of them? I'm not sure. I think all of them have braids, but I think one or two of them do. Um, any way you put it, how did? An Olmec had get braids and there was no contact with African people. But there the Olmec had an African hairstyle. That seems quite strange, right? Come on, guys. You know what's funny? I learned this from Dr. Renoko Roshida, I believe. Um, yeah, they actually have the Olmec. This is they and they're gonna deny it. They're still gonna say it's not black people, right? But there's actually an Olmec named El Negro, right? You see El Negro. El Negro. I'm not making this up, right? And look. <laughs> it, look, guys. You see what I'm talking about? This is the this is just the most obvious, most obvious one in my opinion. 
This is the one, the, the most obvious one. Like, do y'all see that? Do y'all see this? That's an afro. Look at those lips. Nah, fam. You see what I'm saying? Look at this, guys. Look. <laughs> nah, that's not you, buddy. That's not you. That's not you. You see? That that that's not you. Th this is us, though. This is us. See what I'm saying? This is more accurate, right? This is more accurate. Check this out. This is more accurate. Look at that. Look at this. Check this one out. Let's see what this one's about. African Omic civilization over 37 years ago. The first in the Americas that I've entered. Uh, the white says that these are not black people. These are not Africans. Tell our children to see with your own eyes. Facts. See with your own eyes. This is like, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Am I looking in the mirror? Is that my great, 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 great grandfather at times? Like, yo, I'm looking in the mirror. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness, yo. They would go so hard to deny this. In addition, Olmec artwork has been found to comprise motifs appearing in Asian Black West African art. Found to comprise apparent. All right. So as you can see, more connections, guys. More connections. The Olmec basalt rock figures that have been found demonstrate clear black African features and cultural traits like cornrow hairstyles, braids, and kinky hair, connecting the Olmecs to the black African regions in West Africa and the Egypt Sudan region. Right? So I covered all this earlier. I told you Sudan, they came from the ancient Nile Valley civilizations, Egypt Sudan region. West Africa, the Madenka tribe, I mean the Madenka region. So the hairstyles also is similar to African hairstyles, braids and cornrows, and they, those are African hairstyles, right? Madenka region hairstyles, right? Hairstyles. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? These are our hairstyles. We created this. We brought this over to everyone. See what I'm saying? Hold on, let me go back to the other one. They're not showing much here. Hold on. All right, here we go. See what I'm saying? See, there we go. These are our hairstyles. These are our hairstyles. These are our hairstyles. The old Mac had these. The old Mac had these. So I put North Africa, black people. I didn't even have to put hairstyles, right? And they say we not. We not indigenous to our own mother continent. <laughs> Hilarious, right? Look at this. See what I'm saying? Look at the hairstyles. These are our hairstyles. I don't know who the hell. Who the hell is? Who the hell? Why we don't think not? Okay. Afro, as you can see on the El Negro Omec. See what I'm saying? our hairstyles right so yeah i get the message i get the point hancock states and fingerprints of the gods my own view is that the olmec heads present us with psychologically accurate images of real individuals of negroid stock charismatic and powerful african men whose presence in central america three thousand years ago has not yet been explained by scholars so this is what's crazy about it, right? This is what's crazy about it. Fingerprints of the gods, right? Who created the book? Graham Hancock, right? Graham Hancock. So this is what happens when you search up Graham Hancock. This is coming out of his mouth. This is coming out of his mouth. Why would he have to lie for? See what I'm saying? I already showed y'all the images. I already showed y'all the region they came from, the regions they came from. So y'all could come up with y'all own conclusion, right? I'm just here to put out my 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 thoughts, my my notes, and y'all come to your own decision. If those look like African people to you, the idea that the Omics were Black Africans continues to be investigated. 
I don't know why we put uh, whatever, right? Let's let people believe what they want, right? And whilst it's not settled, there certainly seems to be some evidence, some, <laughs> I think there's more than that, in support of the idea that the Olmecs were black Africans, which requires consideration and explanation. Exactly. Like, even if you feel like the Olmecs, hold on a second, let me, let me change the camera. Notice how when it comes to the Olmecs, when it comes to the Asian Egyptians, etc., right? The Sumerians, etc., they always jump up and say they're not black, but they never give us an explanation. They never give us an explanation. They just say they're not black. They don't even take into consideration when they say, oh, the, the Olmecs are Asians. They take it into consideration when they say the Olmecs were European. Well, nobody says that, right? You know, I don't think people really say the Olmecs are Europeans, but the Asian Egyptians, for example, when they say the Asian Egyptians are Europeans, they take it into consideration. But every time somebody says they're black, they don't even take it into consideration. They just jump up and say, no, they're not. That doesn't ring a bell in your head, though. That doesn't ring a bell in your head. They don't take anything that we say into consideration. They just say no, but they don't give us an explanation. Why is that? They give everybody else. They take everybody else's thoughts and their beliefs into consideration, not ours. That's how you shut them up when they say they're not black. Give me your explanation. They're not going to have a good one. They're not going to have a valid one, right? They're not. They're not. So let's move on. You know what I'm saying? You had the Omex who carved themselves in stone. Clear African features. This is not the Omex. This is Kemet, right? But I'm just saying the similarities, right? The similarities. Things you find in Kemet and Asian Nile Valley civilizations you also find in the Asian Americas. But they're trying to tell us there's no connection. It's, yo, come on, guys. Check it out. Kemet, right? But then you find this in the Asian Americas, right? You find you find this in the Asian Americas, right? The, the, like, come on, guys. You're telling me this is a coincidence. This is a coincidence, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, right? Now let's go down to Chichen Itza. It's just too many similarities in the Asian Americas. Like, come on, guys. Put two and two together, you feel me? That's my video on the Omex for today. Like always, we can always get deeper. There's always more information, more knowledge. So I'm going to let y'all go. Make sure you like. If you're watching to the end, if you're watching to the end, like, sub if you're new here. You know, we talk about real African history here. I'm going to let y'all go. Peace and love.